Now, since Dry July launched in New Zealand in 2012, the campaign has inspired 23,000 Kiwis to go dry, raising $3.2 million for people affected by cancer. This year, more than 6,000 have signed up and have so far raised well over $300,000. To support them, we asked nutritionist Claire Turnbull for some alcohol-free alternatives. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Lovely to have you in the studio. Thank you. Nice to be here. Now, apart from no hangovers, what are the benefits of going alcohol-free? Well, I think one of the the main things that people will notice is an improvement in their sleep because while alcohol can kind of knock you out when you go to bed it compromises the quality of your sleep so you wake up not feeling rested yeah. um, people might also notice a change in their weight because uh, people that drink regularly are probably consuming quite a lot of calories in that way and you, you know generally just have more energy and um, it's a really good opportunity also to reflect on your habits with alcohol because I think one of the main things is a lot of us use alcohol to unwind mm. to relax and um, we need to find better ways yeah. Yeah, and that sleep thing is so important, isn't it? Because people do it, it can knock them out, but then yeah. you end up waking up early yep. or you have a very sort of disrupted sleep. Yeah, and it kind of creates a really vicious cycle with it because essentially you don't feel energised and then you feel stressed throughout the day and then you need to unwind at night and you rely on alcohol. So it's a really good opportunity to, to reflect on your relationship with alcohol because yeah. a lot of people don't have a good relationship with alcohol. Uh, that's for sure. Mm. So what are some easy swaps in people can make for alcoholic be beverages in dry July? What, what, what remains of it? <laughs> yeah, well, I think the main thing is to is to avoid the, the sugary drink alternatives yeah. because that's what a lot of people do. So using sparkling water as a base is fantastic and using all sorts of um, herbs, vegetables and fruits are, for, uh, are great. So I've got three ideas here. Great. Um, which this one is called an apple crumble. So this has got all the flavours of an apple crumble. So vanilla, ginger, apple and cinnamon. And then I'm just going to top it up with sparkling water. Do from... I get to try all these? Yes, you do. Because you brought these paper straws in. I know, yes. So I'm going to give them Good a Good for the environment, yep. Um, so this is topped up with um, just sparkling water from my soda stream there. Easy as. Excellent. Um, yeah, speaking of good for the environment, these are too because you're not buying all the plastic bottles. Exactly. Really so one replaces 2,000 plastic bottles. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. So they're really good. Um, stir up. Yes. That. And that's, the good thing about that is you can use any s a fruit that is seasonal. Um, so apples are, um, are cheap and readily, readily available. Kiwi fruit you can also use as well. Mm, yum. Yeah. Easy. Vanilla's really, I would never have thought to put vanilla in sparkling No, water. I know. But I think it's, we've just got to find ways without the sugar because there's no point swapping the alcohol and then you're making another problem with yourself and having Sugar. Okay, keep going Ooh, with the next yeah. one. This is really tasty. This is really good. So this is um, chilli, lime and mint. Now it's the chilli that actually gives it a really, depending on how much chilli you like, uh, and a really nice hit. Um, because I think the thing about alcoholic drinks is that they, you get that, oh, you know, the alcohol mm. gives it a, it's a bit tasty. But the chilli itself um, is a kick um, that you will... Yeah, I think you really enjoy this. Now, do also, I use pretty. the same straw? Do I use the same straw? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I reuse. Really so you can use it later. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I will. Hang on. Okay. Oh, it's very pretty. That's it. See, that would be a lovely cocktail to, to serve to someone. Absolutely. And and it's just you need to find it interesting. Because <laughs> I, I think... just inhaled the chili. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, okay. Here we go. I yeah. don't know how hot this is, so I'm sorry if I'm if I'm um, creating a problem. No, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. It does... So what was in this one again? Um, it's just lime, chili, and mint. And again, you can add. Um, yeah, more chilli to your taste. Mm. So if you have the sparkling water ready to go in your fridge, you know, a couple of bottles, it makes it easier to make a healthier choice because the problem is if you have wine and beer ready to go in your fridge, you drink it just because it's mm. there. So you need to have the healthy cold. alternative more readily available and easier to access and wine and beer needs to be down in the garage. Yeah, that's beautiful and that's the right amount of chilli to get a little bit of a crush. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, nice. Didn't want, to, didn't want to overdo it in the first Ooh, one. So um, what's this one? This is lime, um, lemon, lime and orange. So it's just all our citrus fruits. Fantastic vitamin C. Great for your immune system as well at this time of year. Sounds like a virgin microwave yes, essentially. Yes, there, there you go. Um, and again, top it up with sparkling water. And if you've got any trees in your back garden at the moment that are fruit trees, they're bound to be a lemon tree and they're probably Exactly, laden. exactly. So, mm. and then again, no sugar in that as well. Oh, that's yummy. Mm. It's got a really nice sour little hit to it. Yeah. Mm. I think, mm. and that's what we're just trying to do because there's no point in having all the sugar from the fruit juices and um, and it's just nice to have something tasty because, yeah. you know, while um, water's nice on its own, adding interest is, yeah. is definitely better. I can't decide which is my favourite, but I think it might be the apple crumble one, but mm. then I also... But yeah, no, I like them all. Yeah. Next thing, uh, you've got, you got seven nights a week. I like them all. Good way to hydrate as well. So what are your top tips in for people who maybe could use a little bit of um, encouragement? Maybe they're struggling for dry, dry July. Because a lot of people, it is that habit we talked about. It really is a habit. It's looking at... Um, 
So basically, if, you, if you're trying to um, make a healthier choice, you need to look in advance at what's going on. So if you go to a lot of social situations, you need to think, what can I take with me? I'm right, let's take, yeah, yeah, keep yeah. going there. Um, um, what can I take with me? What am I going to order when I get there? Because you've got to actually see, if you rely on willpower at the time, it's very, very difficult mm. to make a good choice. And if someone's going, oh, here, have a glass of wine. But if you already know what you're going to have in advance and you've taken something with you, then you're way better off and it's much, much easier and don't feel like you're missing out. The mm. other thing, that's huge is a lot of us use alcohol as a way to socialize and and that's fine and it's you know it but it's finding other ways to catch up with friends and I think yeah. this July is a really good opportunity to say I can actually go for a walk with my friends and have a great conversation do something healthy for myself um, at the same time because I think it's just drinking is the easy option but there are many yeah. other ways to have fun with our friends I love going for a run with a good friend it's really, yeah. really it's excellent and also taking your own drinks is a great idea because quite often if you go to an event there'll often only be sweet orange juice or yeah. wine or beer that's all all they have yeah and so take one of those absolutely delicious easy as well, that's great. Thank you so much. No problem. For coming in and making all of these beautiful drinks for us. Yeah, which we'll be having every night now. I will. I feel quite inspired. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Good. Uh, and congratulations to everyone who's raising money for charity this dry July. Good on you. Hang in there too and try one of these drinks. It's not long to go now.